Hello and good morning. Saturday the 7th, May 2015, 16 even. 0642 hours British summer time. There is not one copy of the South Wales Echo in Bedwas. It's printed the closest and there's no sign of it. Okay, here's the plan for today. Oh, by the way, summer sort of here. There's the odd bit of damp in the air, and there's supposed to be heavy showers and maybe a bit of thunder and hail later. But it is summery. It's quite close, even. Mm -hmm. So, meeting Timmy Toilet later and his mate. Um, Big Tom was supposed to be there, but he's gone in some room because of a Dirtos birthday and such like. So it's Cardiff. Going to meet them round midday in the Cambrian Tap. There will be other beers beforehand, maybe your coffee. That's it. The train comes that way, and I go that way, which is fine. It's a bit grey in Cardiff, and there is the odd spot. And here we are, Cardiff, Queen Street. Central Bar, Boss Brewing Craft. Yeah. This is where I'm starting. There it is. There is a very good fridge here. This is actually French. French as in not Belgian. Belrose Brasserie de Sauce. 6.5% alcohol by volume, 279 a bottle, seems to be the standard price wherever you go. Smells strong, smells a bit douglish. Very similar to Duval, <coughs> just not as strong. It's good, B plus in a bit. 3.25 on the untapped scale. I think it's raining outside. Well, that was number one. And this out of the fridge is number two. Dixie Beer, Dixie Brewing Company of New Orleans, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Mm, sort of sweet, fruity smell. Oh, it could just be my nose. I'm not sure if it's my cold throat, flu throat, body throat, nose throat, rubbishness. I'm not getting a lot of anything from that. It's not unpleasant. I'm going to wait until it warms up a bit, but I'm not sure. I'll come back to it. I'm back. It's warmed up a little bit and it tastes better. So that means it is an ale, it's not a lager. Actually, it tastes a little bit like that which tastes a little bit like Duval. I'm going to give it B+, plus. it's not bad. It's quite gentle and subtle. Not unpleasant. But I think the Belgians do it better. It says closed. That can't be right. They've been open before. Anyway, it's supposed to be cloudburst, hail, thunderstorms. It's just like rain. And it's hot. And it's humid. Oh my god. Come on, let's go. This doesn't open till 11 o'clock and I'm still waiting for Dorothy's to open. I don't think it's far away. Uh, Big Tim's on the train. And it sort of stopped raining. Which is good. Caroline Street. Okay, so there's the plan. In there. The bad news is the Cambrian Tap no longer opens up 11 on a Saturday, now 12. Mr. Tim is in TA, Cardiff Centre, 11.55. This is the Prince of Wales. 
and Birmingham are in town. So it's plastic glasses. This is Welsh Pale by the Glamorgan Brewery. It used to be the Kite 4.1% alcohol by volume. Not bad. Although I could do without a proper glass, but there you go. Touch of lemon. Three plus a bit, three point two five. Quite glass that you find it good. Attempt number two, and I think we're in business. And this whistling again. Oh no, music might be a takedown. Anyway, number one from Thornbridge. Lord Marples, 4% alcohol by volume. Yeah. That one. Mass selection. All bottles to come. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Nice creamy, full bodied. Nice finish, B plus in a bit. And the gravity station. We're back. So, um, Blackjack Shuffle Deck. I thought it was Sheffield Deck, but I'm rubbish. Um, so, here's the review. Over here, in a gravity station branded glass. Although I must have to admit that uh, oh. this doesn't help. Do you think? Like a beer. Citrusy. Mm. Oh, very citrusy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, I said, oh, that's wonderful. It could be a B plus. <laughs> B plus plus. Oh, double plus. plus. Double plus. plus. plus, plus. Wow. Is that an A minus or large? No, it's not Belgian. <laughs> What's well, not from Clinton Lloyd's? <laughs> Gotta be careful here. Planet Lois is great. Hold on. Hang on, hang on. Say that again, Tim. It's all right. I, I totally give it a better lead. Oh, right, okay. That is lovely. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Thank you. <laughs> this is Salty Kiss. A Gooseberry Goes. This is a German style. Gooseberry overtones. Yes. <laughs> By Magic Rock. Huddersfield's finest. Wow, like okay, so um, that's next. How much of a aroma to it is it really? I'm actually going to yeah, get my before I forget. <laughs> You've been to treat, well I see I think, oh I'll forget tomorrow. I'm thinking A-. minus. No, citrus. Really? Yeah, really. H. Say that again. H minus. Okay. <laughs> Someone here doesn't like it. Shite. <laughs> no, that's good for me. Normally it's a Z. Really? Yeah. Drink. Sorry, you drink cores. <laughs> Do you? That's what, that's what it is. You give him a sour beer and drink lager. Sorry, well, you drink, we're just he, drinking cider. He drinks cores, that's not even the lager. <laughs> Isn't that just sweet corn in the form of a drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice, is it? There you go. Me. A tangy, tangy fish. Okay, um, tangy fish. Amarillo Sour by Chorlton Brewing, a slow beer company. 5.4% alcohol by volume. Tim, what do you think of it? It's rhubarb. It's rhubarb. <laughs> rhubarb. Rhubarb. It's shit. It's rhubarb. It's rhubarb. Okay, so, so far we have lots of rhubarb. It smells lovely. Rhubarb, rhubarb. Well, I just don't broadcast that, please. My last comment. <laughs> Take a nut away, Clay. Give the nut as a employee, apart from some man brewery exec. Not oh, this is. Want to fight me in the street? I don't need them. Really sour. That's why it's called sour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the reason. Oh, that's excellent. <coughs> I don't give that any minus to love sour. Oh, everyone's laughing at me now. Okay. It's an H. Oh, no, it's a H, is it? Parched, mate. Parched. I need a pint of 